I'll be always one. Heart of Midlothian too. Um, not exactly the best way to start the season. Um, we played good. We played at, we we played brilliantly. Um, I'm not sure who number six and number sixteen are, but my God, <laughs> they can dribble. But um, uh, not the best way to start the season. Uh, for overs. Um, the referee. Um, I really hope. I really, really hope he has a life-changing injury. I really hope he has a life-threatening injury because that ref, that ref, was surely a Hearts fan. He gave a penalty right to Hearts, which um, clearly was not a penalty. But people who were at the game, they would say, they would say that. Even the Hearts fans would say it's a penalty. None of the Hearts fans cheered when when the penalty was um, even scored. I never heard any Hearts fans cheering when the penalty was scored. They knew that wasn't a pain. They knew that wasn't a pain. <sighs> that ref was a Hearts fan. He definitely was. He definitely was a Hearts fan. He gave absolutely shocking calls. And there was apparently in the 90, 90 plus first minute. Didn't, didn't give it. But he gave, he gave a penalty. He gave a penalty to Hearts. Like just like two minutes earlier. Aye, two minutes earlier. So, eh, not the best way to start the season on a loss. But, hey, at least we'll win it 8-0 at Gretna. Or will we do a uh, classic Rovers fashion <laughs> and then lose 8 now? We either won 8 well, either won 8 now, or either lose 8 now. Take it right now. Um, yeah, um, I really hope that, ref, that I really hope that referee, I can't remember who he is. I'm trying to search it up, but I hope that ref has a life threatening injury. Because he was worse than Anthony Taylor. He was worse than any of the EPL referees. He he was so biased in that game. Absolute bias. Absolutely biased. So, uh, let's talk about players. Bright Prince. He's, he, he has a prince, man, he's bloody brilliant. He, he, the way he works with his feet, man, the way he dribbles, the way he, the way he just turns around, sends players right on the bum, right on the backside. Oh, man. He's bloody brilliant. Number 16, I can't remember who you are, mate, but my God, you can dribble and all. Uh, the one problem with overs in that game, uh, the dribbling was brilliant, the... Dribbling was brought in the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper, right? The first two goals, right? A penalty. There was a second goal. The first goal was abysmal. But, eh, uh, Ross Connolly saved it. Then, went right. Somebody crossed it into Hearts, I think. And then a Hearts player scored. Ross Connolly couldn't do anything about that. Because, eh, uh, Sunday was in his way. So he couldn't see. Who he couldn't see what was going on, so I I, I, did, I put no blame on the first goal to Ross Connolly. Uh, it's just defence that I put blame on it for that first goal. Second goal, no blame at all. It was a dive, complete dive. But um, I uh, Bright Prince, he could dribble. He can't finish his dinner. That's the one problem with him. He can't finish. So, that's it for me. Uh, on to the view of Gretna. Uh, I'm not going to Gretna because it's Gretna. I'm not going all the way down south. So, just to uh, review the scoreline on that. So, bye bye.